Hold everything. Like 10 against 10 because the wide receiver out there isn't doing anything to keep a player out of the game. Yeah, it's just knitting a sweater. Option run off the left side. Penalty marker down. Talk about lines on the left side over here. It looks like it might be on the play. I gotta say, on, on homecoming night, the Snohomish red and white look is sharp. Looks like the whole uh, first flag of the night here. 8.15 left to go on this first period. Okay, I just saw it. <laughs> that was that was pretty academic. I'm not naming names or numbers, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to argue with that one too much. Yeah. Big boy got an advantage and uh, used leverage. Just pin somebody in in the interior of that defensive line. 3-5-3 three, three look. We used to go with uh, maybe a 33 or, or something, you know, 44 or something like that. Have a have a bandit or a rover. And this look has two of them. Yep. Yeah. Remember many a D1 discussions on coaches shows saying, why don't we go to bandit or rover, uh, robber, and, and spy on the quarterback? Well, you got to have the personnel and you got to have the game plan, and that's not something that a lot of folks did 20 years ago. So Joey Hammer on the. Down there trying to get the crowd behind him. He needs some help down there stopping these guys from running. Back. To your earlier point, Charlie Fry, the loneliest man in the world right now on the far boundary. Hold everything. 